Hello, uh, comrades, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, Salam Alaikum. My name is Michael Pröbsting. I'm the International Secretary of the Revolutionary Communist International Tendency, RCIT. Uh, today uh, I want to talk about the latest uh, developments in the Qatar crisis and make uh, uh, some uh, brief comments on them. Uh, as you probably know, on the 5th of June, Saudi Arabia, uh, the United Arab Emirates, uh, Bahrain uh, and Egypt did cut all economic, uh, political, uh, diplomatic ties with uh, Qatar, accusing uh, Qatar of supporting terrorism, uh, supporting Iran, etc. etc. Today, uh, the 23rd of uh, June, uh, these, uh, these countries have uh, published, uh, uh, handed over a list of demands, 13 demands to Qatar. Um, and France uh, is, according to them, a precondition for uh, re-establishing uh, ties with, uh, the, with this small uh, country, Qatar. Now, what do this, uh, this list, what does this list of demands include? Uh, it includes, and uh, I, I quote from an uh, article published today by Reuters, uh, the Reuters news agency, it demands closing the Al Jazeera uh, uh, television, it demands uh, 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 cutting all uh, links with Iran, it demands cutting all links with uh, various petty bourgeois and bourgeois Islamist uh, movements like the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, like uh, uh, Hayat Tahir al Sham in Syria, um, and other Islamist organizations. It, it includes the demand to close a Turkish military base in, in Qatar. Um, and it uh, also includes that uh, Qatar should surrender all so-called terrorists with, uh, on its territory to these uh, powers. This includes also the, uh, the uh, foreign representation, diplomatic representation of the uh, uh, Afghan Taliban. Now. Um, what does this mean? It means that uh, Saudi Arabia, the Saudi-led bloc, um, wants to completely subordinate, smash Qatar, subordinate it to its uh, uh, foreign policy. Uh, the foreign policy of Saudi Arabia and the countries which support it, like the Egypt dictatorship of General uh, Sisi, they what they want is to um, completely smash all gains of the Arab Revolution, which started in 2011. They want to re-establish the deeply reactionary order uh, which existed in the Arab world before 2011, when uh, the whole region was dominated by pro-imperialist uh, monarchies and dictatorships. And as we know, because of the popular uprising of the workers and the youth and the peasants in the region, a number of dictatorships were overthrown or uh, severely uh, weakened. And now, uh, the Saudi-led bloc and General Sisi, uh, and with the support of uh, Trump Donald, or also known as the American uh, President Trump, uh, they want to uh, to uh, roll back the time, and they want to uh, to smash this, and they want to smash all um, uh, uh, popular movements, mass movements, which uh, have emerged and which have become stronger in a region. This also includes, uh, in addition to those I uh, mentioned before, like the uh, Muslim Brotherhood or the uh, Islamist uh, uh, rebels in Syria, which are fighting against the dictatorship of uh, Bashar al-Assad. It includes also Hamas, uh, the Palestinian uh, Islamist uh, uh, mass organization, which uh, effectively and successfully resisted against three times against the uh, attempts of uh, Israel to uh, smash Gaza, to reoccupy Gaza. So, in short, 
this maneuver, this uh, offensive of Saudi Arabia and uh, Egypt, it um, it means that if they succeed, it uh, will completely uh, smash uh, and weaken uh, the uh, uh, um, these resistance movements. It will uh, smash Al Jazeera, which uh, of course it's a bourgeois media, but it's a bourgeois media which opens space, which gives space to various resistance movements. And for that reason, all uh, socialists, all democrats, uh, all supporters of the resistance against imperialism, uh, against the reactionary uh, dictatorships in the region, uh, all those should uh, oppose this uh, thoroughly reactionary uh, offensive of uh, the Saudi kings and, and the Egypt dictators and all those reactionary figures which try to roll back the time and to smash the resistance in the Middle East. This is uh, what the RCIT stands for and, and it's arguing for and uh, we think uh, as a, all internationally around the world all socialists and democrats should uh, be uh, active uh, and should take such a stand.